Hey everyone, it's Brian with Instructional Tech. There is a new Canvas app that we're going to be using this year. It's called Canvas Teacher, and it takes a lot of the teacher controls out of the Canvas app that students use, and it puts them into their own standalone thing. Now, one thing that this is also incorporated is the SpeedGrader app, so you're not going to see that on your iPad anymore, or it's going to be going away in the near future. So let's take a look at this new Canvas app. On your iPad, the teacher app is an orange icon, and when you tap that, you'll be asked to sign in. Now, I've already signed in, so you see all my classes here. This pulls everything from your Canvas account. If there's too many, you can tap Edit in the top right, and if you star or unstar something, so I'll unstar Google, you see that little tile go away, and so you can clean up your dashboard. I'm going to open up this biology class. And you can see the tools on the left are limited. You can get to your announcements, you can create a new announcement, you can see any announcement that you've made in the past. It's as easy as tapping the plus icon and adding the information there. Assignments is where it's really improved over the student app. The assignment list takes a minute to load, but you can see all the assignments. There's no way to filter this yet, but it's only the first version of the app. But you can see down here on the bottom, we've got one that's tagged to seven need grading. You can see some quick data, and I've got to hide the student name, so you're going to see a blur on your screen. But on the right, you can see ones that need grading, and you can open it up, and here's the speed grader component. So I can read their response, I can swipe left, I can swipe right. Adding a grade is as easy as tapping the plus icon on the right-hand side of the speed grader, just like the old app. When you're done, hit done, and it takes you back to your submissions list. Here's a demo assignment. I'm going to click on Need Grading. I'm just going to pick a student. And you can see here we've got rubrics added. So if you have a rubric on an assignment, it's easy to just grade on a rubric now right there in the app itself. If you long press a number, tap and hold, it gives you the, the scoring criteria if you forget what your numbers mean. You can also view the long description for that outcome or that rubric item and make sure that you're scoring the correct thing. So that's nice. It's been rolled all into this teacher app. So your grading is much smoother. The app is also much faster than it used to be. In discussions, it's just like assignments, so any discussions that you have in your course, you can open up, you can look at who is submitted, who is not submitted. It just gives you a nice, clean view. You can grade right there as well. You can do the same thing with quizzes. If you open up a quiz, you can tap on a quiz title on the left, and it opens up the quiz, gives you the data. This is a practice quiz, so I don't actually have to grade it. But if you hit preview quiz, it pulls up the quiz preview so you can see what you are doing. You cannot create a quiz in the Canvas Teacher app. You cannot create an assignment because they're meant for quick grading more than creation. So you're still going to want to make everything in the, in the web. If you do need to grade it, you can open up that student's quiz, tap on grades, and it pulls up their quiz responses, and you can add the comments and do the grading that you would do normally as well. So again, it's meant to improve your work on the fly, not create materials for your students on the iPad, just manage the ones that you've created on your computer already in your Canvas course. Back in assignments, there's one other thing I want to show because it's pretty handy. If you tap on the assignment, like I said, you cannot create a new one, but if you put the wrong due date or if you put the wrong information you can tap edit in the top right you can add a description you can change the group the grading group it goes into this is a quiz so i can change how the answers are displayed if i want to so again editing on the fly is really nice and it's it's really great it's a, it's a nice little app it's easy to use and hopefully it helps you work a little bit more effectively on your ipad